Hello everyone, my name is Karen Shanung. I'm a team member of the Coda Bears team and today we're going to be discussing SSRS tricks. Some of you may already be familiar with SSRS reports and may already know some of the items that will be discussed today, but hopefully you'll still learn a thing or two. For others this may be all brand new and you will get some tricks that will help you use SSRS reports more efficiently. I have some tricks shown on the following slides and then we can take a look at the SSRS report itself. Let's start looking at some SSRS tricks for reports. Here we can see the topics that will be covered today. We'll be going over expressions, highlighting rows of, or field values, dynamic groups, graphics, and at the end we'll review an example. The following slides will show an example of each of these topics and then we will get to see the examples using a sample report based off the Epicor 10 training database. So here is our first SSRS trick. Oftentimes we may have fields that only show values for some records in our query. Rather than leaving the column blank for those records, we, we may want to show an alternative value in that column. Here is an example where the contact name is filled in on an order sometimes and is not filled in at other times. So we can add a formula to show the contact name if available, otherwise show the customer name. In addition, I added an expression on the text box properties to color code the customer name as black and the contact name as red. So here you can see the expression used for the alternate values. If the contact name is empty, then use the customer name, otherwise use the contact name. And here's the expression on the text box. If the contact name is blank, then show the font in black, otherwise in red. Another good trick to use is to highlight values to more easily identify values that are out of range. A parameter can be used to prompt for a low value or a high value, for example. Then an expression can be set up on the fill for the text box, or all text boxes in the row, to color the text box to yellow in this example if the charges are less than or equal to the low value of $100. You can also put in low and high prompt if you want to highlight the values between that range. So here we can see the expression if the total charges value is less than the parameter of too low make the, the fill yellow otherwise make the fill right and we put in the parameter low value is 100. <clears throat> dynamic groups. A more complicated trick is using dynamic groups. There are quite a few steps involved in creating dynamic groups. First you'll set up a parameter to show you how you want to group the report, which fields are the possibilities in your dynamic grouping. You will type the label and value for each group choice since choosing the fields will not work. Then you will set your one group properties to a formula as shown in the expression on the right. This expression should also be used for the sorting applied to the group properties. I added a similar but slightly different expression to the label in my group totals to see the word total if we are not grouping. Otherwise the group name will be the label for the group on the for the total on the group. So here we can see the setup of the parameters on the left here, typing in each of the labels, don't group sales rep, etc., and what the value is for each of the parameter properties. And then the example of the expression for the group and sort properties is shown on the right here. If the parameter group field is nothing, then you group by one, otherwise you're going to group by each of the values. And then we also set up the label total expression in a similar way. Here we can see our examples of the output when we choose the state option and when we choose the order date option. As you can see the order date label is not formatted since I'm using an expression for the label, but I expect that using a more complicated formula which includes the formatting could also be done. So this option shows not grouping at all 
and this option shows the sales rep option. Here we can see the state group option and the order date option. Graphics, we can apply similar formulas to the chart category properties to see a graphical view based on the chosen group and the group by prompt. On the left, we can see a pie chart for the don't group option, and on the right, we can see a pie chart for the sales rep option chosen. On this slide, on the left, we can see a pie chart for the state group option and the right we can see a pie chart for the order date option chosen. The order date option is nice and psychedelic since we have so many order dates. The ellipsis at the bottom shows there are more dates that can be listed. So now we can review my live example. So this is the example report that we have used throughout the presentation. We're grouped by no group right now that's the default and we show the end date and the low value. We can group, choose our group by sales rep and view the report and here we can see it's grouped by the sales rep 99, Aaron and Hashi etc. Here we can view the group by state and our training company has a lot of customers with no state value filled in so we'll get to a page that has a state. Here we go we got British of Columbia, Canada, California and Colorado etc. And finally viewing by the order date and we can see order dates starting with 2008 And when we get to some that are have more than one per date, we can see the totals, etc. We can also change our low value to be a thousand and view the whole report again. And we can see that any dollar values that are less than or equal to a thousand dollars are highlighted in yellow. If we change it back to 100, we'll see some of those values will not be highlighted. So we've seen a few SSRS tricks to use with your Epicor data. There are plenty more to try and learn and many resources out there to find them. Have fun finding additional ways to use SSRS tricks. Thank you for viewing our Lunch and Learn. Be sure to view any other Lunch and Learns you'd like to on our YouTube channel. 